Hey everyone, Karma here, and today I'm going to show you how to record gameplay straight from your Xbox One to your PC without a capture card. Now this isn't one of those bullshit 30 second gimmick things like your Xbox DVR. I'm talking for as long as you want, but it does require a small amount of money, but it's way cheaper than buying a capture card. What you're seeing on the screen is capture via this method and it's high definition 720p at 30fps. So firstly, this requires you having a pretty good PC one that can record video while you're basically using your PC. Uh, so if you have like a trash laptop or a PC that's like really old or without a reasonably modern graphics card, then don't really bother with this method because you'll have really laggy gameplay. But if you have a, you know, a reasonably modern PC or a pretty good laptop, then you should be okay because I'm using a, a really good laptop right now to basically record this. Secondly, you will also need a program like Bandicam. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. It's $40 USD. Now, compared to capture cards, which may run you double, if you already have a pretty good PC, then this is a really good program that can save you a lot of money. Um, but basically, you will need a way to record your PC screen. So if you have any other kind of alternative options, then you can use that. But you need a way to record your whole PC screen. So I know Bandicam does it, so I recommend it. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just use the program and I recommend it. Uh, thirdly, you will need a PC and your console to be hooked up via Wi-Fi or Ethernet to your modem. Uh, I recommend that if you're using Wi-Fi, you have a 5.0 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi modem, but 2.4 can still be used. Um, generally, it's just because 5.0 gigahertz actually sends uh, a more stable stream connection and as a result you know it's a lot better than 2.4 uh, but most modems are 2.4 so don't really worry if you don't have a 5.0 and always uh, there's the alternative that you can just use ethernet if you can't stream via wi-fi and last but not least you will need a windows 10 computer so this is the only way you can do this as you'll need to set up game streaming via the Windows 10 Xbox app. The first step is to find your Xbox's local IP address. This is the IP address of your Xbox One on your network, and it'll usually start with 10.0.0 on your modem connection, or on your modem's devices page. Now, the easiest way that i found to get this is to actually go to your Xbox, go into the settings, and then go to network, and then look at the advanced settings tab, and it'll have it straight away I'll show you on the video on screen how you can actually find that. Then you go to your PC and then open up the Xbox app. Then navigate to the connect tab. And once you're in there, go to add a device in the top right hand corner. Then type in your Xbox's IP address. Now you may actually find your console automatically, but I wasn't able to do that. So if you can't, then use the Xbox IP address and try connecting two or three times if the app says it failed to connect because the app is a little bit buggy. Then run the streaming test. If you're able to stream up to high quality, then you're good to go. Hit the stream button and then your Xbox should be showing now your desktop in full screen or your Xbox dashboard or your game. Now before you start streaming, you should probably open up Bandicam and record your whole PC screen before you start the stream where you want to record. Then you can also configure the quality settings of Bandicam to your liking and then hit the record button. Then go back to your Xbox app and then hit stream again. From there, you should be able to make the quality either high or very high. I choose high because it's 30 FPS and I record at 30 FPS and it's probably going to reduce the lag a lot. So you'll get a really great smooth video. I also recommend that you play on your TV and not on your PC as the video is slightly delayed on your PC. That's it basically. So now you could just move your mouse to stop streaming when you're done and then stop recording on Bandicam. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and record some really good, sick gameplay footage. And as always, please like the video, subscribe, comment me if you have any problems. I'll try and redirect you to some sort of service. And uh, yeah, just tell me how you think the method is.